LCM. The least common multiple. We can get a multiple of a number by multiplying it by another number, such as the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc., but not 0. Below are examples of multiples of the numbers 2 and 3. The list of multiples of 2 includes 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and so on. The list of multiples of 3 includes 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, and so on. The common multiples of two numbers are the multiples that exist in the list of multiples of each number of them. The smallest common multiple is called the least common multiple, LCM, or the least common denominator, LCD. So the least common multiple, LCM, can be defined as the smallest positive integer that is a multiple of two or more numbers, and it is divisible by those numbers without remainder. 6 and 12 are common multiples of 2 and 3. 6 is the least common multiple of 2 and 3. The least common multiple is used to find the common denominator when adding or subtracting fractions which have different denominators. To find the least common multiple. 1. Find the prime factors of all the numbers together at the same time. 2. Multiply all the obtained prime factors together. Example 1. Find the least common multiple of the following numbers, 6 and 14. Solution. We will find the prime factors of both numbers together. We'll start by examining the divisibility rule of the smallest prime number which is 2. Both 6 and 14 are divisible by 2, and the results of divisions are 3 and 7 respectively. 3 is divisible by 3, and the result of the division is 1 but 7 is not divisible by 3, without remainder, so we'll write it as is. 7 is divisible by 7, and the result of the division is 1. Next step is to multiply all the obtained prime factors together. LCM equals 2 times 3 times 7 which equals 42. Example 2. What's the result of 5 over 12, plus 8 over 21, minus 1 over 7? Solution. We should find the common denominator of the fractions by finding the LCM. 12 is divisible by 2, and the result of division is 6. 21 and 7 are not divisible by 2, so we'll write them as they are. 6 is divisible by 2, and the result of division is 3. 21 and 7 are not divisible by 2, so we'll write them as they are. 3 and 21 are divisible by 3 and the results of divisions are 1 and 7 respectively. 7 is not divisible by 3, so we'll write it as is. 7 and 7 are divisible by 7, and the results of divisions are 1 and 1 respectively. LCM equals 2 times 2 times 3 times 7, which equals 2 squared, times 3 times 7, and the result is 84. So, 5 over 12, plus 8 over 21, minus 1 over 7, equals 35 over 84, plus 32 over 84, minus 12 over 84, which equals 35 plus 32 minus 12 over 84, and the result is 55 over 84. Another way to find the LCM, is by finding the prime factorization of each number separately, then we multiply all the obtained prime factors that have the highest exponent. Example 3. Find the LCM of 20 and 6. Solution. 20 is divisible by 2, and the result of division is 10. 10 is divisible by 2, and the result of division is 5. 5 is divisible by 5, and the result of division is 1. And 6 is divisible by 2, and the result of division is 3. 3 is divisible by 3, and the result of division is 1. Prime factorization of 20 equals 2 squared, times 5. Prime factorization of 6 equals 2 times 3. Therefore, LCM equals 2 squared, times 3 times 5 which equals 60. We can also find the LCM, by multiplying the common factors by the uncommon factors. For the previous example, prime factorization of 20 equals 2 times 2 times 5. 
prime factorization of 6 equals 2 times 3. The common factor is 2. The uncommon factors are 2, 5, and 3. Therefore, LCM equals 2 times 2 times 5 times 3 which equals 2 squared times 3 times 5, and the result is 60. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share.